Hi guys, it's Jennifer Akins with 444 Fantasy Football, and I am here today to talk to you about players to cut. Players that are dead weight on your rosters, players that you can drop ahead of week five of this fantasy football season. Uh, before I start, though, I do want to say uh, to make sure that you guys subscribe to the 444 YouTube channel and make sure to like this video uh, if you enjoy the content that I uh, give out today. I would appreciate it. Um, and all this content uh, is basically based on half PPR formats and leagues that are 10 to 12. Um, if there's something where someone is, you know, you can keep them or whatever in a league of, of a larger size or a smaller size, I'll, I'll throw that out there. But in general, if I don't say anything, I am talking about 10 to 12 team uh, leagues in half PPR formats. So let's get into it. First guy that I feel like you can cut this week is Allen Robinson, wide receiver for the Rams. We all had such high hopes coming into the season. He was once considered quarterback proof. He then, you know, he now has arguably the best quarterback of his career in Matthew Stafford a Super Bowl winning offense, no less. It's just not panning out for him. He only has nine catches for 95 yards and one touchdown right now through four games. His catch rate is only 50%. He's caught nine of 18 targets this season through four games. Unless he gets a prime seat at the breakfast table with Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup, his lack of production is going to sink your fantasy season for the rest of the time. I know you wasted a fourth round pick on him and no one will take him in trades and it's brutal. But unless you're in a larger format, a 16 and 18 team, you may want to hang on to him. But if you're in a standard 10 to 12 team league, there are better options for you out there on the waiver wire. I know it's sad, but you just got to bite the bullet. Uh, second guy I'm going to talk about is also wide receiver, uh, Julio Jones uh, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> We're not dealing with Julio Jones from 2015, sadly, anymore. He was back this week after two weeks on the shelf with a knee injury, and he saw only two targets out of a possible 52 from Tom Brady. Todd Bowles even declared after the game that he got nicked up again uh, in his limited time on the field. He is going to drive managers crazy this season in that crowded offense. Do your roster a favor. Swap him out from some, for someone in a better situation with higher potential volume. Someone like even Corey Davis or Zay Jones. Third guy uh, on the cut dead weight slash drop list this week is Albert Akue Boonham, tight end for the Denver Broncos. <laughs> Albert O's usage is moving in the absolute wrong direction. He had six targets in week one, then he had two in weeks two and three, and then a big fat nothing this past week. In fact, he was only in on one snap as a blocker. Denver is clearly using a committee approach at tight end and training camp darling Greg Dulcich is actually coming back soon. It's not a good situation for Dalboro. I know tight end is extremely gross as it always is, but there are better options for you out there. Robert Tunyon, Hayden Hurst, Logan Thomas. Those guys are on waiver wires in those 10 to 12 team leagues, and they're going to serve you better than Alberto moving forward. Fourth guy on this list is wide receiver Jarvis Landry for the New Orleans Saints. Landry was a target monster in his former life as a Dolphin and a Brown. He averaged 136.6 balls from 2014 to 2020 per season. Right now he's on pace for fewer than 90 targets. He was actually out-targeted this week by Chris Olave, Marquez Calloway, Juwan Johnson and Adam Troutman in that offense. Olave is clearly emerging as the wide receiver one, and even Michael Thomas has shown effectiveness when he's been on the field this season. Landry is nursing an ankle injury, so that could have had something to do with it, but it just doesn't matter. It doesn't seem like there's going to be much of a role for him beyond fighting for those scraps with the lower wide receivers and the tight ends. Do yourself a favor. Ignore, just get rid of the headache of Landry and get somebody else. Uh, the last guy on this list is actually a receiver as well. Uh, Greg Dorch for the Arizona Cardinals. If you grab Dorch early, it was a fun ride while it lasted. He averaged 11.9 fantasy points per game in weeks one through three without Rondale Moore. With Rondale Moore back this week, Moore, snap, Moore saw 65 snaps to Dorch's 27, 
And both Hollywood Brown and Rondale Moore ran 33 routes to, to Dorch's 16. Basically, he had half the routes of both of those guys. Both Moore and Dorch are going to cannibalize each other behind Marquise Brown and Zach Ertz in this offense. And DeAndre Hopkins is coming back from suspension in week seven. He was a nice surprise for the for the 37% of Yahoo managers that grabbed him. But it's probably time to move on from Greg Dorch, unfortunately. That's it for the drops for week five. Uh, once again, make sure to subscribe to the 444 YouTube channel. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. You guys have a wonderful day and a very productive week five.